Hi guys, this is Sam and hope you're all doing well. So um, out of all the things that needed to be done on this bike itself, uh, one thing is the fork seal. So one of the fork seal on the right hand side is actually leaking and uh, that's not something that we want uh, on a stunt bike as well. So definitely we're gonna need it and also for the road really that was something that I needed to um, pass. So I'll take you guys through step by step how to replace the fork seals on uh, the right side out forks. Alright guys, so we've got the fork off the bike and um, I'm going to show you guys a few of the tools that you're going to need. First thing, of, first of all, the main bolt, uh, which is this one here, you, you can undo that while this the fork is tightened up on the bike itself. Do not take the fork out before you can loosen up this bolt enough to, to be turning. Second thing you're going to need is a 10 millimeter Allen key, uh, a 10 millimeter long Allen key because there's a bolt underneath this fork over here so you need to reach it and a normal Allen key will not help. It's, it's, it's too much of a distance to reach in there and remember that Allen key is a flat head Allen key so you can grip that properly so it doesn't slip when you're trying to undo this. You probably need to put this in a clamp as well for hold, to hold the fork down while you're trying to undo it uh, with an extension to this T-bar as well, or the t Allen key. If you're going to change the dust seal as well, so remember to uh, buy new dust seals as well. Fork seal and dust seals are two different things. Dust seals are fork seals inside the fork and dust seal is the one which protects the seal to, from dust and, and debris while you're riding your motorcycle. So it keeps it off the fork. Alright guys, this uh, may come as a surprise to you, but uh, the <laughs> this wasn't a surprise for me, but that was something that we've already been through. Uh, the, the, this specific fork needs a specialized tool, so it is about this long bar that's supposed to go inside. I hold that part inside, so that specialized tool was supposed to be a square bit. Um, and uh, we made it ourselves. <laughs> okay, so this is just a simple square uh, metal rod, which is a hollow metal rod. Uh, so basically, I just put that in and hold the part and then rotate so that the width of the, the square uh, part is uh, matching the, the part inside itself. So I'm gonna do that that way. There's a full coil coming out of the thing. Get the flathead screwdriver, pry this seal out. That's out. I'm gonna do that 
We're gonna clean it, reinstall the oil. Alright, this is it guys. Uh, so you've got the whole assembly, the whole um, front fork. Uh, disassembled you can see all the parts here disregard these these are the these are the bit of tools that you're going to need um, to install of course there's a seal as well the fork seal but this is it so let's put this thing together My homemade driver, seal driver. It's gonna go in and we're gonna do. Ooh, I gotta. Alright, guys, I'm gonna drive this in and I will come back. Alright, so this, the, the seal is in. Uh, I've snapped on the lock ring on there as well, so it, it, it feels pretty. It feels pretty good, and I think it's it's a pretty good job that we've done. So the the last thing that's left is to make sure there's no no dust, no um, dust particles left on the fork. And I've got this dust seal over here that um, was on already. I haven't replaced the dust seals, but this dust seal is intact. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And uh, this should do the job. So there goes the dust seal on to protect it from any dust particles make sure everything is clean have our oil ready and slowly pour it gotta make sure that there's no bubbles left so if you're hearing bubbles or you're seeing bubbles you gotta keep stroking until they're completely gone I think this is pretty good so I'm gonna drop the first washer in this is the washer that goes below the actual spring so I'm gonna make sure that it's clean uh, so you can see the shape of the spring itself it's smaller on this uh, the smaller on that end and then a bit bigger on this end so the smaller end goes down when you're disassembling your um, forks as well so make sure what side is small or big if it's even in both hands then totally fine um, I don't think there should be a, a that should make a difference but if it is shaped you have to keep it that way so the spring is in so we're gonna make sure that all the bubbles are out because sometimes when you drop in passing that creates bubble inside the oil itself so I'm gonna keep stroking until you're happy and I can't hear any bubbles or I can't see any bubbles coming out. Well technically I can't see any bubbles coming out so I think we're pretty good over here. <laughs>
So there you go. This is how you change your fork seals. This was a very quick video how to do your fork seals, but if you do not have any experience with your bike, I would recommend not to open your bike, not to do the fork seals yourself. And if you're still watching, make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.